Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the next couple of weeks of April 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate. Uh, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, if you, <clears throat> excuse me, make sure that you're also... Uh, register at Bill per call if you want to reach me by phone. Um, register there for first. Uh, you can always request a call back. And uh, if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within um, a seven day time frame. Also, if you have not had a chance to check out Patreon, the Venus sign readings are there now and I do those monthly. So be sure to check that out. All right. So here we have the central issue, heart of the matter as judgment. We have Gemini, your energy. We have Uranus. We have the Five of Pentacles. The Fool. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. And Page of Pentacles. Mm. Okay, so... I feel like there's someone, first off, that you're connected to telepathically. You guys are in sync like twins. Um, I feel like you can, you know, you can send messages to each other. You may be already communicating with this person indirectly. Maybe they're showing up in your dreams. I'm just looking at how Uranus is tied to <clears throat> Gemini. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you know, I, and I feel like someone's also been trying to get your attention or maybe... The both of you have been doing it to each other, just trying to get the other person's attention. Um, there's some sort of unfinished business between <clears throat> you and your love interests. Um, I feel like the elephant in a room needs to be addressed. Something is not being addressed. Something has not been resolved. Uh, something still seems like an open case. Um, and it's just like, it has not been solved. Like this is an unsolved mystery here. Um, I don't know what's been going on, but for the most part, I just feel like there is no communication. Uh, you may be feeling hurt uh, or ignored or abandoned, um, but you're not saying or doing anything about it or it's the other person. One of you feels this way. Um, you got both five of cups and five of pinnacles out. And to me, this is saying that there's definitely a sense of having too much pride to say something, acknowledge something. Um, if you do get some sort of response, I feel like it's a response that maybe you didn't want to hear. Um, there's energies of being declined, rejected. Um, you know, I just feel like you're kind of going through something for the next couple of weeks. Definitely feeling ignored. Um, if you've been trying to communicate with someone or get their attention, it's just going right over someone's head, either intentionally or unintentionally. It doesn't matter. It's not getting across. <clears throat> um, or if it is, like I said, someone is just refusing to acknowledge someone's call they're ignoring someone's call i just feel like there's abandonment issues going on i feel like someone also is not ready to open up or trust anymore uh, someone is choosing to keep quiet or keep to themselves i feel like someone just does not want to be bothered it's like leave me alone i just want to be left alone i feel nothing i feel like someone is coming off very detached um just does not want to be bothered with anyone but themselves at this time. Um, or does not want to ask for help or admit something. Like, even if someone is just like, why don't you just admit that you love me? Admit this. And I feel like someone is just like, no, I don't. Or I refuse to admit that. I do, but I refuse to admit it. Um, get out of my face with that. Like, there's just so dismissive energies 
coming out with you guys. And I don't know if you are dismissing someone or vice versa, but it's dismissive energies for sure. Um, I feel like someone is also still salty about the past. They're still holding on to something that didn't go right. Someone is just stuck in the past. Um, if people, if you're just completely single, it, it still doesn't matter. I feel like the people that are approaching you, you're not interested. You're like, get out of my face with that. Or you you bore me. I'm not stimulated. I'm not impressed. Um, just whatever. You are very focused on yourself and, you know, dealing with your own issues right now. And I just feel like whoever is approaching you, just, they just don't do it for you. They're not exciting or boring. Um, maybe you're, they're not even your type physically. Like something's off. Even if they are attractive, it's like no chemistry, no connection. It's like, I don't, you know, whatever. Um, it, now you also, some of you could be going through some sort of a breakup. It's like maybe you feel that you wasted your time. Uh, somebody also may feel like they made a mistake, but they don't know how to say it. They're like, I messed up, but I just, what do I do? I just have to let it go. So, and to me, it looks like, you know, they're, the, this person can easily cross this bridge. This person can easily go inside this door. That's why I say it's definitely some sense of pride going on. Someone's like, I don't want to cross the bridge. I don't want to open a door. I don't want to walk in, you know, because this also looks like, hey, the door is open and someone is refusing to go inside. Um, I feel like there is a connection that's also very unstable. Something may be on and off. It's just chaotic. Hmm. I'm just looking to like the the qualities of Uranus. It's a strong planet. You know, it's a powerful planet and is very disruptive. It causes disruption. Um, it makes things fall apart. Um, it I feel like it's just an unpredictable planet. You don't know what it's going to do. Um, and so I feel like that describes pretty much your current relationship or someone that you were connecting to or the people that you attract. It's like it's very electrifying and very magnetic, but at the same time, it's very unstable and chaotic. You don't know where it's going. Um, it probably starts and then just stops. Um, you probably both take turns ghosting each other. It's just... You know, you may need to also look at um, Uranus in your birth chart and see what's going on there. Uh, or maybe the current transit in Taurus is somehow affecting other planets that you have in your birth chart. Um, I don't know if you were dealing with another Gemini or if you were dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone maybe with moon and cancer or Mars and Scorpio. Um, someone also maybe feels like they don't have enough to give or they're inadequate or something. Someone might feel this way about themselves. They're like, no, I'm not good enough for them or I don't make enough money. I don't have this. I don't have that. So someone just feels like maybe they don't want to waste your time. This feels like one of those it's not you, it's me type situations too. Someone's like, go on, live your life. You know, I'm not the person for you. <laughs> um or maybe you're the one saying that. Mm. Someone also is emotionally stuck and just refuses to move on.
Now, also, someone may be feeling lost. I'm here, Whitney Houston. I have nothing, nothing, nothing. If I don't have you. So, I don't know. Maybe that is how someone feels. Something's going on maybe too with someone's living situation, but they don't want to admit it. I don't know if someone's been kicked out or if someone lost their home. <clears throat> I feel like something does not feel like home. It's not a happy home. If somebody is in a relationship, I feel like the happiness isn't there. Yeah. Um, and it looks like someone's plans got exposed. Someone was planning on doing something and got found out. And now they have to leave. Hmm. I feel like something didn't go as planned. <clears throat> if someone planned on reaching out to you, I feel like it didn't go it didn't go as planned. I feel like something went wrong. Now also, <clears throat> excuse me, if your relationship is fine, uh, there could be something else going on where there's a loss. Like maybe um, there's some sort of uh, fertility issues or just dealing with some sort of loss. Like loss of finances could be upsetting the relationship. Oops, somebody regrets the decision that they made or didn't make. There, it could have been an opportunity to connect with someone um, and they dismissed it. Now they regret it. Um, there also could have been a situation where, yeah, I feel like someone maybe had a choice between two people and felt like they made the wrong choice, but now it's too late. Maybe they're like, now I don't, now I feel you know, stupid. I feel like a fool. I don't want to go back to the person that I rejected, you know, like I should have, but I didn't. So, you know, I just kind of feel like someone's going through some things and beating themselves up about a decision that was made. I feel like you're going to have some sort of confirmation of something within the next couple of weeks. Hmm. Now, I also see something in regards to moving on I don't know if you are moving on with someone else and the other person someone from your past is like I messed up now they moved on or you are feeling that way about somebody <clears throat> but it does look like um, someone could be moving forward or establishing a foundation with someone or someone new pops up into your life it kind of looks like it is uh, 
it's more stable. Because Uranus made something very unstable. I feel like something is going to be confirmed in regards to someone's feelings for you. <laughs> And I saw 444. <clears throat> so the number 444 may be of some significance to you within these next couple of weeks as well. Yeah, so hopefully these messages have helped. Um, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sydney, love, and grace.